going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Find some news, baby. Today, we got 82 mods on the testing list. 23 mods were released today. And we got 15 modders to talk about. So, let's jump right in. Starting off today with the mods and testing, which is up from 54 to 82 mods on the list today. Only six in console testing, though a very heavy stage one testing day. Some notable mods include the Echo Ideal Harvester, Bjorn Home, which was the FS15 base game map, and the Dibco SideQuest 1000 tanks. Also, we got some maps like European Countryside, Lepatro Farm, and Southern Cross Station. Some other mods that are on the testing list include the John Deere 9RT, Lizard and Scania Streamline Truck, and the Mac Anthem and the Mac Grain Hauling Pack. Also, a new mod that a lot of people will be happy to see in testing is the Sin Track. It's coming back. Oh, yeah. Oddly, we already have an attachment mod that came out today called the Calbacker Winter Equipment. Got an update and actually a new pin attacher for the Sin Track. It's in there. Check it out. Uh, making our way down to console testing. And again, only six mods here, but it's not actually a bad thing. I mean, we did get 22 new and updated mods for all platforms today. As far as mods waiting, there are 371 mods sitting on the waiting list, and that's down from 300. 393 last Friday. Also, the mod waiting time is also down to nine, six work days from nine on Friday. Ooh, let's go, getting better. In addition to all the mods that are in testing, 23 new and updated mods were released today on the Endgame Mod Hub, including the International 86, we have the versatile Delta Track Pack, Old Bike, and of course, the Segway. I've already made a video showing all these off, and you can find that video linked to the first pin comment and the description below. Jumping into modern news, let's start with Lancey Boy and his map, Stone Valley 22. The map has received a few goodies since we talked about it last week in our video, Check that out if you haven't already, but since then, he's added waterways that get flooded during the rainy season. Don't worry, it's not going to destroy your crops or anything, but it is just a really cool, neat addition. The map kind of floods a little bit. That's awesome. It is currently with Giants waiting testing for all platforms. That's not the only American map returning for players in FS22 because Welker Farms is coming along and it is coming back. Work has been a little bit slow up to this point as Mappers Paradise has been working on a few other things and they've got some IRL stuff going on, but they're back and they say that they're hoping to upload the map for testing for all platforms later this week. Another exciting map coming to all platforms is Home Acra from Pixel Farms. The logging map It was one of the most popular logging maps in Farming Simulator 19 and it's coming back. The guys have been working really hard on this one and I can't wait to check it out. Along with the updates to bring the map up to FS22 spec, there's also brand new trees and buildings that have been made special just for this version. You definitely want to give it a try once it's released. But those aren't the only maps that we've got to talk about because Puma145 said his map Mezzosini has been fixed and has been submitted for testing for all platforms. This was a map that was released about a week and a half ago, but it was on PC only. However, the reception on that was very not good, he said. So he had it removed. He redid the map for all platforms. He says it shouldn't take too long to get it through since it did pass PC testing first time. Okay, that's all the maps for all platforms, at least for today. So let's move into big machines. The Max Superliner X from 82 Studio. Right off the bat, I can tell you that the mod was finished during his live stream late last night and is waiting with Giants right now. The community definitely jumped in and made their voices heard during his live stream yesterday, as there's a few options that you guys helped to get onto the truck. David's next live stream will be on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And I wonder what he's going to be up to next. Said Modding's bringing back a project that was originally part of FS15, and it was first announced for FS22 back in October, and is starting to take shape once again. The Class Lexian 600 series. Shown here is the 670 model, but you know he's going to have multiple engines for it, and tons more. The 3D model is completed, now on to textures, smaller bits, and things like that. We'll also be getting the 700 series, and we should see that for the first time sometime next week. Casarius Modding are back with us with something highly requested. The Case IH Magnum 8900 series for all platforms. They say it is back and in the process of getting some big upgrades. Getting things like corrected US spec with hood and roof, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive versions, different rear rims, and cabin mirrors with more to come. Next up is EY Modding, who shows off some more in-game progress of his Farmall H-Series tractor with newly painted rims. And of course, the rest will be painted as time goes on, but one step at a time. Oh yeah, and in the background, you can see his far M66 Combine, which he says is going to be submitted for mod up soon. It is a remastered version of FS13 base game. And of course, he drops more information right as I'm done with the video. He's about to release this thing, man. Of course he did. I had to come back and re-record this. He says he's currently with Giants waiting testing 
and we're gonna have two engines and five tire brands likely not much more though amg agri's re-uploaded his massey 5400 pack with all the fixes the giants have requested the first time through testing it wasn't much to fix which is great news while we wait he's gonna be moving over to the massey 5s which you say is not far from being done. Can't wait for both of these. Another great modder working on some Massey Ferguson mods is KRKZ, who shows off some updates today for his Massey Ferguson 7677, and I guess the addition of the 86 or 87 series on this, plus the Massey Ferguson 337AL. He says that both these packs did fail testing a while back on some minor bugs, but he's just now gotten around to fixing them. Says that they have been waiting with Johns for a little while, but as of last week, they had passed testing and were set to be released. However, as you may know, we did not see these released today, which was a little bit odd. What else was odd was Steve's Mod's Case Puma 240 CBX Power Drive. It was testing and has pending testing, but was not released either. Pending testing last week was uh, on May 6, just like the Masseys. They're three days later here now, with new mods already being released with no release of either of these mods. It's very interesting for sure. Perhaps they're maybe a few days behind on releases and have a backlog of new mods to release. Maybe they're limiting themselves to a certain amount at one at a time. Could be. Either way, I'm sure we'll see them soon enough. Back in FS17, there was a trailer out for all platforms called the Myers Boss 9140 RT Forge trailer, which was one of the most popular trailers for American players at the time, as it was about as close as we could get to an American trailer on consoles. Well, the creator, BC Bueller Farms, you guys know who he is. He's bringing it back almost after, or after almost five years later for everybody to enjoy. He spent a lot of time converting it and working on the textures to make it look really good. And it'll likely be rebranded as Lizard because Meyer is not a licensed brand on consoles, but it's gonna try and do it just in case, see what happens. Still needs some work, but it's happening. Oh yeah, and his vintage auger pack is done as well. Should already be with Giants waiting testing for all platforms when you're watching this. As for his Matt Grain hauling pack, it is back with Giants and today went into the first stage of testing yet again. Custom Mining it shows off some more new screenshots of their Honeybee with the Crary CWS prototype. This is a header for all platforms that they made, saying that they're finishing the assembly of the model right now and applying the material in Giants Editor. The next time we see this header, it should be in game. God, this thing is so detailed, it's ridiculous. How does they do it? Next up, we hear from Yoss, who says that he's had some reports that the mobile wood selling point that was released last week is experiencing some odd behaviors on consoles. And unfortunately, he cannot recreate this since he's on PC and it's only happening on consoles. One thing he says that you could do if you're having problems with this thing kind of bopping away from you, uh, you can get the Flegal Transport Box, also released last week, and toss it in it. That should help keep it on the ground and keep it stationary. And lastly today, a map has been released for PC only that is not very far from where I live. Farmville, North Carolina from DR Modding. This is a standard size map based here in the United States in North Carolina with plenty of small, irregular fields between some thickened tree lines. He says that this version is meant to be played in farm manager mode only. If you do decide to jump into New Farmer, the equipment that you get will spawn in the middle of a cornfield and speaking of fields, you don't own any of them. So heads up, money mods are going to be your friend for sure until an update is released or if you guys enjoy pain, well, this will be perfect for you. I'll let you guys know once we get that update. For now, you can download it via the link in the description below. It's the same link that DR's got on his Facebook page. I'm very excited about this map since it is so close to me. It's only like know, two hours, three hours, something like that. Could be awesome. Just like the return of the self-aware segue to the outro. Did you know that a segue was released on mod up today for all platforms? How cool is that? I wonder if it knows about itself. Hmm, makes you wonder. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. No release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's gonna be released. And if I didn't talk about something you want to know about, well, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and some things you need to know about as well going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you do. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel all being said i hope you have a great awesome wonderful rest of your day we'll see you later Peace. oh weekly live streams returning tuesdays 6 p.m eastern time is that something you want maybe i shouldn't do it